Hey, by the way, uh, the show is going great at the Fringe Festival here in Edinburgh, uh, Scotland, right, Steve? Yep. Steve and I have handed out over 3,000 flyers for the show and have only seen three on the ground, which means our <laughs> fans are nice enough to put them directly in the trash. <laughs> Since 2020, we've done plenty of virtual comedy shows online. And though the virus is slowing, we'll keep going because we've still got lots of hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin hello and welcome to a virtual comedy show here are some etiquette guidelines for virtual comedy show please arrive 15 minutes early please be quiet except for laughing we've been a zoom meeting civilization for two dang years you know the drill just be polite we would like to see your face as part of the audience let's be social not just distant so get comfortable plan to laugh but not heckle and let's make our semi-quarantine world a bit more normal for a little while thanks and enjoy the virtual comedy show it's the virtual comedy show starring brad tassel and Steve Goody! Tonight, Brad and Steve welcome comedian Jackie Primrose Monahan! Plus Hello. funny songs from Worm Quartet! And a patty melt from Patty Vasquez! And much, much more! Now, please welcome Brad Tessel! Hooray! Yay. Yay. Hello, everybody! I'm Brad, and that's the side of Steve's head, though. So, and we'd like to welcome Jackie back. Thanks for coming back, Jackie. <laughs> and of course, the Worm Quartet. It's great Hi, to see you. Hi, thank you. I know. I'm very excited. I'm also semi-conscious right now. So, uh, well, semi-something. I'm semi-pro semi and semi-dressed. So that's also that way. In the way. And Steve and I have not killed each other. We've been in the same apartment for a week after COVID, and there's only been. To, luckily, we're both bad fighters. So anyway, <laughs> so welcome to the virtual uh -huh. comedy show. We are out of the U.S. one week, and the FBI raids Mar-a-Lago. Donnie, we are so sorry. We weren't back there to help you, I tell you. So, yes, Donnie, <laughs> Trump residents, and SAFE were all searched by the FBI. Some say they were looking for 290 pounds of dope. But that's not true because Trump was in New York at the time. <laughs> now, you have all heard the stories already, so I can't do jokes about that. And and Trump lying that he knew nothing about it. <laughs> Did y'all Trump oh wait, we got people to let in here, Steve. You gotta let people in. That we that Trump knew nothing about it, even though his son Eric, who thinks someone who can solve a Rubik's Cube is a demon admits <laughs> that he knows and he alerted his orange daddy of the raid. But, you know, Trump should be happy about all this that had happened because it proves one of his statements in his campaign correct. The judge who signed the order and the FBI director who called for the warrant were appointed by Trump. So he did hire the best people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always a weird response sometimes. Always okay. sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, now, Trump is also scared that there is a mole inside his organization molly, molly. feeding the DOJ information. Did you hear that? He is constantly asking if anyone sees any wires or microphones around Mar-a-Lago and is always confused that his entire staff keeps asking him to talk louder and into their breast pocket. <laughs> what you say, Don? Right, what? <laughs> ah, and of course, because Trump is so innocent, he pleaded the fifth in his New York deposition more than four hundred times. Did you see that? <laughs> he pleads the fifth better than anyone. Everyone says so. Uh, the tubby traitor said that he won't answer any questions because he might need another continuance as his other wives may also be accident prone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he's got space in other golf courses. Oh, Steve. <laughs> hey, this one's for Steve. General Mills in the fall will release Frankenberry, Count Chocula, Booberry, and Fruit Brute. I've never even heard of that. I know. It, the cereals for a limited time. Who's into those cereals? Remember those? Yeah. It is very oh, yeah. time, 
Very exciting. And the monsters will be on the market until they scare up children's diabetes by 20%. <laughs> 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 oh, one more kid with diabetes. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Because they're all sugar. Ah, we're whipping along, aren't we? Yeah. It's like I'm drunk on no sleep. We should do a show. We should do a show. I'm just excited. Jackie's here. Okay. Here it is. I... Could we be more excited? The Inflation Reduction Act is headed to Biden's desk, everybody. Come on. Uh oh, Walter, get Walter out of here. Get Walter out. That's Walter in the shot. Walter, yeah, get it, get in the shot and get Walter out. I'm in the shot now. All right, I'm taking over. Somebody answer that phone. I have the con. Do they want to buy tickets to the show? (laughs) Nope, they did not hang up. There you go. Thanks. Carry on. I'll be over here. Okay, you get out of here. Okay, let's go back and pretend that didn't happen. (laughs) The Inflation Reduction Act is headed to Biden's desk. Experts Experts say it will reduce inflation. The bill will promote clean energy and let Medicare negotiate the price of drugs, among other things. But there are some little-known things in the bill that are not common knowledge. So here are the little known things in the inflation reduction bill that you may not know. Number one, Trump's secret service agents will get paid only 30 cents a piece for every text they delete. Uh Uh (laughs) These are the jokes, folks. The The second little known and probably less even funny than that, (laughs) inflation reduction bill. If you buy an electric car, Elon Musk will get your wife pregnant for only $149 more. <laughs> Elon Musk will impregnate your wife. Okay. The third thing, as we go downhill in this joke, that's in this bill, the price of pot will plummet when it's mandated that Seth Rogen take a week off. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, the fourth and final thing in the inflation reduction bill that will lower inflation, a tax credit for dating Pete Davidson. Ooh. 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 We just get shot in the gut. What was that? Hey, by the way, this is very exciting. Very exciting news. You're all going to love it. The Rockford peaches are back. Yes. In the Amazon series of their own based on the 1992 movie that followed a women's professional baseball team during World War II. Young women in the U.S. today will delight in watching how the ladies in 1943 deal with having more rights than women do today. (laughs) And ladies today don't even have baseball. They don't even have baseball. <laughs> the show is sponsored by the GOP, whose motto is, shut up and have the baby, toots. <laughs> I like that one. Hey, visitors at the Milwaukee Zoo unexpectedly witnessed the birth of a giraffe this week. Did y'all see that? You saw that? Yeah. It was a total surprise, and it was a surprise because it came out of a llama. (laughs) The park's male giraffe is now trying to think of a story to tell his wife. (laughs) Regressive gene, honey. It's a regressive gene. It's a regressive gene. I think recessive is the word, but uh, there you go. Regressive? Hey, this is fun. This... You know, in in the world of good ideas, Domino's opened a bunch of pizza stores in Italy. (laughs) Yes. That's kind of like bringing a bake oven to compete on Iron Chef. Uh, (laughs) The stores are closing and all the employees will be put in the same jail as Chef Boyardee. Uh, Your mini raviolis, everybody. Hey, the jokes are going to end soon. This is the one Steve told me not to write. That's right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Now, in, in very sad news, literally very sad news, 
the love of my life, Olivia Newton-John, passed away after a long battle with cancer. That is tough, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, man, we will miss her talent and her kindness and her beauty, and I will never forgive you for making her smoke, Danny Zuko. <laughs> and you made her a slut, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have written that one. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm just blaming Greece. It's okay, to, it's okay to write it. Maybe not say it. Oh, well, what are you going to do? You also wrote a joke about Frankenstein peeing his pants. That's true. Okay. The bed. The bed, sorry. Wetting the bed. He'll tell it. <laughs> It'll be just as funny as it was when I just said it wrong. Okay. Here we go. A Texas church is in trouble. Who's seen this? A Texas church is in trouble after doing an unlicensed and weird version of Hamilton where they compared being gay to being addicted to drugs and alcohol. Nobody see this? The production, however, actually proved just the opposite, that there is no connection between drugs and alcohol and being gay because the production was so bad that no gay person would ever be involved. Yeah. <laughs> and witnesses... Uh, oh, that's good. Hey, there's a lag. And witnesses <laughs> say that the show was such crap you had to be drunk to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop because it's not getting any better. Let's bring up Steve. Jump in there and what are you going to do? Wait. Switch me over here. Switch hey, me over. Switch me over. Wait, uh, switch us over to us. Let's replace the spotlight. You can do it. There we go. Did it work? It's here for Brad there Tassel. There we go, everybody. Brad Tassel right there. Hey. All right. Hey, it's time for the top ten. Oh, and, play the thing. And what's fun is that I recorded this a month ago. I don't remember any of it. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Hold on, I screwed it up. Let's try it again. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. morning I'd like to remind you, you play I can't, it correctly. I can't even do it right under normal circumstances. <laughs> and let's go on to the actual top ten list. Top ten terms I have misheard or misunderstood. We're just going to talk about how I don't know what's going on. So let's go. Number ten. <laughs> Shelfie, your old iPhone two days after the new one comes out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Number nine, wireless router, a battery-powered chisel. <laughs> oh, yeah, stick with me on this. I think you might like the next one. Number eight, Comcast, a bunch of unscrupulous bastards who are second only to the NRA. <laughs> Too accurate to be funny. Number seven, totes adorbs. Carrying three puppies around in a bag you got for donating to NPR. <laughs> sure. Number six, Bluetooth. When you stick an electronic gadget in your ear and last night's Taco Bell says howdy from the other end. <laughs> Number five, broadband. I need to apologize in advance for this one. This one is very sexist and inappropriate, and even 20 years ago I wouldn't have approved of this one, but I find it funny anyways, here we go. Number five, broadband. The artist formerly known as the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> I'm canceled. Number four, IP address. Number one, urinal lane, bedpan falls, New York. <laughs> Number three, blueberry pie. Approximately 3.14159265.3 blueberries. Oh. <laughs> okay. Number two, non-binary. A computer that uses zeros, ones, fives, and an occasional eight. <laughs> and the number one term I've misheard or misunderstood, Instagram. What a southern belle becomes when she marries a grandpa. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, why? Why do you have to be a Southern Belle? It doesn't. Don't even think. Okay, it's, it's not worth it. Thinking is a uh, total. Not my strong suit. And it's not worth it in this case yes. anyway. Now what are we doing? Wow. Oh, I think it's time for our musical guest. Our musical guest, play it. Well, let's have him join us oh, first. Yeah, let's let's have you him do in. that. Okay. I'll hey, everybody. In. in a second now, it's going to be Worm Quartet. Where is he? Worm Quartet. Worm Quartet. Worm Quartet. Oh, worm Quartet. Oh, worm Quartet. Oh, it's like a five-year-old. Too much. Too much. Been here the whole time. Hey, Tim. Hi. Hi, how are you? Nobody calls him Tim. He's Shoebox. Hi, Shoebox. Hi. Okay. We're going to do a little opening credit. Hi, damn it. 
and then you're gonna do a crazy song that I'm gonna answer it somehow and then you'll do another one and I'll still be awake. Here we go. It's our musical guest, our musical guest. Gonna sing something funny and then Steve will play something in between. Our musical guest, our musical guest. It's time for our musical guest. Your box of worm quartet. Okay, I feel introduced. So that is the cue for me to move the camera so I can actually exist in a way that you can see me while I stand. And okay, and then I move to these other headphones and you can tell me if you hear things. No, other no. headphones, other headphones. The music okay. headphones. So this is a song, because that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. This is from my forthcoming album, which is going to exist in the future, hence the term forthcoming. Uh, and and it's, it's largely a true story. My job gave me a poncho, my job gave me a poncho I can't do dope the stuff the theme, go straight from our head honcho My job gave me a poncho, a corporate branded poncho What a great way for a company to tell you that they want yo it's, it's a poncho! It's a poncho! It's a, poncho. It's a goddamn eco-friendly poncho! It's water resistant and it's stopped at the neck! It's got a roomy hood and it's silent as heck! <laughs> It's a poncho! It's a poncho! I work 12 hours every day and sacrifice enjoyment. I don't get paid for overtime, time, salary, and employment. But they promise they'd reward me for serving them so good. And what says thank you better than a trash bag with a hood? It's a poncho! It's a poncho! It's a one-size-disposable poncho! They go to a sporting bag that's meshed like a net Made of EVA fabric to protect me from wet <laughs> It's a poncho! What is it kids? It's a poncho! What did I do to deserve a garment so divine? Stuck to squeeze its finery, I can't believe it's mine. <laughs> the logo of my company is on the right, but still close to my heart as I slave on into the night. Wrap it around me when the cold winds start to blow. Straight from our CEO I thought maybe I'd just get, you know, a pay raise or whatever But money comes and money goes Ponchos are forever I canceled my vacation to meet arbitrary end dates I think Read every company mandate. I signed away my patent rights for every innovation. But now I'm manually shielded from light participation with my poncho. poncho. It's a poncho. It's a compact unisex poncho. With this rain resistant, thank you, no, draped over me. I look like those things from Journey on the PlayStation 3. But it's a poncho. It's a poncho. It's a bulk versus corporate branded poncho. Though it's not health insurance or a 401k, I've got recipients a bunch of on my resume! <laughs> it's a poncho! It's a poncho! Oh, they say if I meet all my deliverables this year, I might get a stress ball. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Nice job, Chubak. Good I think job. It's a poncho. I, I think I asked for everybody. Uh, was it an entire poncho? <laughs> is that a it's real a poncho or is that a Sears thing. poncho? Is it ten tenths of a poncho? That was great. I would like to now do a song about the first job I ever had. In my imagination, always wanted to be a pirate, and I'm playing a ukulele because I forgot to bring the guitar over here from the theater, so...
When, when I was a young man, I set out to see a swashbuckling pirate. I aspired to be. I was bold, I was eager, I was stalwart and stout. But we'd no sooner put out from port than I threw my back out. Oh, the first mate, he offered assistance to me. Don't know chiropractor, he toyed out to be. On that ship, I could find no relief for my back. Cause it turned out nobody the anvil remembered to pack. <laughs> Singing yo-ho, maybe I was mistaken. This is a voyage I shouldn't have taken. Apparently, a life on the sea is no place for someone as chronically fragile as me. And I think that's enough. <laughs> Let's have another song from Water Quartet. Two bucks, two bucks. Work, work, work. Like. <clears throat> um, this next one, well, I, I recently put out a thing to celebrate the, uh, the the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man. It is called the Pac-Man EP because it's an EP full of songs about Pac-Man. And exists. I have that on and vinyl. From that, is the title <laughs> Pac-Man is 40, and so should you. <laughs> Do you hear the sound? <laughs> the sound is Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Being around that yellow guy? Pac-Man! Pac Are eating lots of dots? Pac-Man! Pac running up and down your street screaming at your mailbox now! Hanging from your ceiling fan? Pac-Man! A mouth a open and a close. Pac Man, or run your fingers on my arm. Pac Man, jumping up and down real fast, putting butter in your hat, shaving all your face at night. Pac Man, oh, 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 it's time to Pac Man. The best way to Pac Man is to use the game. You move a joystick and you eat the dot. Eat all the dots, you win another maze. And mazes are the place where Pac Man goes. He eat the key or maybe eat the pear. Cause he's a fool for eating in the maze But goes for making death to run away I'll make a blue guys turn into a food Let's Pac-Man! And the Pac-Man is the thing that you will move! The thing is all the Pac-Man that there is! For eating all the dots and also quiet! But also quiet is only sometimes food! The food is very eating for the mouth! And mouth is all the thing that Pac-Man has! But if a dead thing's melting from the ghost, then look another Pac-Man is arrived! Everybody do this with your hand, you can do that! That's fantastic. Holy cow, I gotta bring myself back in. Wow. That was incredible. Yeah. Who are you? Right here. Yeah. I make noise with my Bye, friends. everybody. Where can we find you in the near future? Box. box, are you gonna be playing uh, live anywhere or online that we can find you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am. Well, online words, it's wormquartet.com, believe it or not. Um, and beyond that, I'm going to be playing, if you're in the Rochester area, I'm playing September 29th with the Torsos from Space at <sighs> Photo City Musical. Photo City Musical? Is it musical? I don't know. Photo City something. Let's say it is. Um, yes. And then October 6th through 9th, I'm playing at Con the Cobb in Richfield, Yay! Ohio. And I'm um, playing a convention in... Rochester, November. November 4th through 6th, I'm playing Astronomicon 13 right here once again in Rochester. That's, That's awesome. All right. Everybody. Hey, keep going again, like John. Shoebox or Mark Quartet. Shoebox. I thought you were doing. We have to decide who's doing things. You get rid of him. Now. Okay. Guess what? It's time for our headliner who just made herself visible. We're so excited that she's here. Any second now, she's going to appear on your screen. She's going to appear. Live and in person. Ladies and gentlemen, she's going to appear on the screen. There she is, everybody. Hey. Jackie. Looking amazing. Feeling amazing. No way. It's me. 
We don't. We got confused about what to call you. You have a lot of names, so we're gonna. We've been guessing. But is it Jackie right, so Monahan? Jackie Monahan. Yeah. That's what we're gonna my go. Name, my, middle name, my middle name is Primrose. That is beautiful. Is that your given name? That is yeah. really nice. That's and all. My full name is really Jacqueline, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna run a little intro thing for you, and then you're gonna give okay. us ten minutes of awesome stand-up comedy right here in our own living rooms. Okay, great. Sound good? All right, here we go. It's time for a big headliner. Got some funny, funny jokes to say. I'll do a 10-minute set headliner. Man, I'm so glad that it's Thursday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jackie Monahan. Hi. It's the Hi. 10 minute headliner. I I was out late last night because I did a show last minute that somebody bailed on. Uh, they didn't feel well. And I was like, what a pussy. I was there. And I, <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually have not gotten COVID. I equated. Thank you. I equate it to the fact that I'm an Al Anon and I give people space. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why I haven't gotten it. Speaking of giving people space, um, Olivia Newton John, you guys are talking about Olivia Newton John. I'm very sad. I just feel like, A, I, I have a friend that uh, opens for her, did open for her. And um, yeah, she said that she was really nice. And I just felt like, she was one of the most beautiful people in the world, like inside and out, it seemed. And but I remember when her husband faked his own death. <laughs> I, was, I was just like, I remember I was a little kid, kind of, and I was just like, oh my god, we're all doomed. Like if so, like she's so beautiful. If someone's faking their death from her. Like what's the point? What's the point in trying? Um, <laughs> so uh i've i've been in like different movies i was in wild nights with emily uh starring molly shannon she played emily dickinson i played molly shannon no i played emily <laughs> um so some of you might know that some of you might know i have a um an album called these lips that's available all over and you can watch it on amazon but what you guys might not know is that I'm Banksy. I oh Banksy. yeah, I love stenciling, and that's what I do it with it. So um, I don't I don't want to bring the room down, but now that Roe v. Wade is overturned, I just have a little public service announcement that I I feel like anyone who cares about children has to start thinking about what they're gonna do about this influx of unwanted children we already have 40,000 unwanted children that's going to triple uh the ideal solution is getting ready to adopt or fostering i have friends that are taking classes right now i have pamphlets about it and links i can let me know after the show i'm going to send you those links so that you can foster as well or you know, anyone who loves kids has to think about what sacrifices they're going to make for these unwanted children. I, I'm off the hook. I hate kids. <laughs> oh, this is like, this is as far as it goes for me. I, um, I don't even understand. Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. I feel like I have to use it this way. I have to use it with don't throw out the bathwater with the baby. That, <laughs> that makes sense to me. I live in Southern California. <laughs> we have a water ban. Like, make it rain. I, I can water my lawn twice a month. Like, like make it rain bathwater. I want that bathwater. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that bathwater. Uh, but hating children, that's, that's a little rough. That's a little harsh. Um... Kids do touch me, but then I have to peer out. It's their stick. <laughs> and uh, they're basically a walking Petri dish. So that's that with that. And um, yeah, you guys, I, I, Olivia Newton John, do you believe her husband faked his own death? Mm -hmm. I still am just like, I mean, I. <laughs> 
It's unbelievable. She's beautiful. Uh, I feel like somewhere in the Middle East, there is a, a um, aging ex-terrorist, ex, ex suicide bomber, and like this guy, his son's coming up to him like, "Hey, Dad, remember when you were training to be a suicide bomber? What happened to that?" And he's just like, "The teenage kids in America." They're they're doing it for us. They're doing they're terrorizing their themselves. So uh, they put us out of business. <laughs> they took our jobs. <laughs> the teenage boys with guns have taken our jobs. And the son's just like, it's okay. I know mom wishes you went, but I I, I love you. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. There's some work that has to happen with that. Here's another joke that work has to happen on. But they're both gonna be killer jokes. Get it? Um, so here's the other one it's not that great <laughs> um you know how meditation like guided meditations are like you're in a field um you feel you're all you feel light and happy and joyful everything's going your way and then you come out of the meditation like that used to work for me when we used to meditate just to get rid of the hustle and bustle of the day but now like when they get me in this peaceful place and then I come out and it's like, there's COVID, my rights are gone. Like people, there's so much segregation happening. So my, I'm pitching to you guys. I have my finger on the pulse of scary meditation. <laughs> so we meditate and it's just like, you're in a dark, like it's guided scary meditation. Like you're in a dark alley, people are shooting at you. The, a dark just went into your head um you you see like and then you come out and you're just like oh this is better than that i feel like I, I think i'm i am a yeah i think it's gonna it's gonna take off it's gonna take off um if there's one thing i learned during the quarantine is that i'm not scared of death especially not my mother's i am ready to she she called me recently she was like i have a bunion i'm like we're taking you to hospice uh, <laughs> so, so hospice <laughs> equals hospice. Uh, in nineteen in nineteen sixty five, Martin Luther King gave a speech about how we're not to allowed to sleep through the revolution. He said for us to stay in the moment where we have our power, and he said that uh, that we cannot conquer hate with hate we can only conquer it with love and he said the meaning of spiritual awake is that nobody is better than anybody nobody and we can only conquer hate with love and now people and he he coined it woke and being woke and now i hear people saying woke and i i think of that but i feel like they're missing the mark and they are not only not conquering hate with love they're like screaming hate at love like for instance, I was at this food bank donating my time. This time, not court appointed. Thank you. <laughs> and and uh, I overheard this little old lady say, God bless the homeless. And some asshole screamed out, it's unhoused, grandma. It's unhoused. You'll never volunteer in this town again. It's not homeless. It's unhoused. <laughs> uh, and that voice came from me. So, <laughs> I still have a long way to go to be spiritually, to be considered spiritually awake. Uh, hopefully, I will learn how to use love. Um, speaking of something else I don't like, uh, is anybody here a Scorpio? Try, this is what I, okay. This is what I want to teach you to practice looking in the mirror and saying, I am a Scorpio because I don't know anybody who's a Scorpio. They can't say it salaciously. Like, oh, what's your sign? Scorpio. <laughs> like, like it's never just like, I'm a Scorpio. Like I feel like Scorpios need to just like practice practice that <laughs> and i think i'm just jealous because my sign is cancer and i there there's no salacious way to say cancer <laughs> so i'm jealous but i feel like scorpio is like 
I feel like anybody who has something that's not very sexy, they should make it salacious. Like, like make anything feel salacious, like the Scorpios do with their sign. Like somebody that's sleep apnea, don't just say I have a sleep apnea. Say I have a sleep apnea. Get in this room. I have a CPAP machine. <laughs> you can jump on my CPAP machine. <laughs> <laughs> my CPAP machine vibrates for you. Like that's sexy. That's sexy. Um, I wrote a song. It's called I Wish I Never Learned That Dust Was Made Out of Basically Just Skin. <laughs> if I have to know, so do you. You think you're a vegetarian? Think again before <laughs> ingesting your friends. <laughs> do I turn for one more song? Sure. Okay, here's my last song. The main problem in the world today is that the wrong people have suicidal ideation. <laughs> suicidal <laughs> ideation. <laughs> Just one day, the right people would have suicidal ideation, like Putin <laughs> and Trump. Suicidal ideation. <laughs> Putin wakes up, he's like, I don't even want to bomb the Ukraine today. I'm going to blow myself up. Suicidal ideation. <laughs> Trump, Trump doesn't know how to take ownership for anything his suicide note would read this was a murder suicide <laughs> all right thanks guys what fun Yay. jackie monahan <laughs> wow amazing Amazing. Good job. I would like Amazing. I like that. We've never had the word salacious on this show, and today we had it five times. That's right. Did I say salacious five times? Or I think so. Somebody else said it, too. No, so. no, I think it was all you, and you own it, and it's awesome. We can't nice. we gotta look it up. And I would like to point out that I'm a Scorpio with sleep apnea. <laughs> you, you said Scorpio normal. You don't go. Well, so that's not how normal. Normally, people when ask me what my sign is, I will just say, what's the scariest sign? Really? And then they'll say Scorpio, and I'll say, and that's ah. it. And I'll say, what's the sign that murders the most people? What is it? Cancer. Cancer does a lot of killing. <laughs> oh, you have cancer yeah. too? Yeah, cancer, cancer kind of, yeah, cancer kind of kills itself. But, uh, so you just had a birthday? No, 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 no. no Neither Scorpio of us is cancer. Is Scor no, you're cancer. We're Scorpios. Right. Happy birthday. Oh wow, you're both Scorpios. Yeah, happy birthday. What are the chances? Slim. Happy birthday. Uh, one in 13. Wow. Oh, that's yeah, a good one. Is that one in 13? No, it's 12 times 11, I believe. But it doesn't really matter. Let's hear it for Jackie Monahan. No idea. There will be no math at 2.40 in the morning. There will be no math. <laughs> Jackie Monahan, everybody. Yay. Oh, we forgot, to ask Jack we forgot to ask Jackie where we can find her. Wait. Let's Bring her back. back. We can't find her, ironically. Yeah, we can't find her. Where am I? Yes, she is. I'm back. She's over there. I am. I'm going to be at Tucson next weekend at the Laugh House. Cool. Uh, at Tucson, Arizona, if anybody's been there. And Thanks. Saturday, I'm going to be at the Comedy Store here in LA. Oh, that's. But you can true. find me on. Uh, you can find me jackiemonahan.com and. Uh, I am also Jackie Monahan everywhere. Except How about www.salacious.com? Yeah, salacious. <laughs> Jackie I'm Salacious Monahan. Um, I'm on TikTok, Twitter, uh, um, Instagram, all the things. Jackie Yay. Monahan. Yay. Okay. Thanks for doing a well rickety show. Thank Just you for asking me. Yay. And guess what? It's time for this. Oops, it went away. Look, look who it is. It's our friend Patty. Patty. I did. Hi, Patty. You okay? Are you being attacked by the wolves? Everything all right? <laughs> fine. I'm guessing nothing's going on. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do our little. Thing. We'll She's do the intro. Yeah, it'll be fine. Here we go. It's time for a Patty melt. With Patty Vasquez, Patty Vasquez. From global conflicts to greenhouse gases. The folks refusing to wear masks says. The politicians getting caught grabbing asses says. She's melting down. It's a Patty Vasquez. Patty Mel. Live from the streets of Chicago. Hey, there's.
there's some new graphics in that. I love it. Uh, yes, I am actually right on Lakeshore Drive. I came out here because I wanted to see the moonrise. Something like the sunset. I like the moonrise or the sunrise or the sunset. No one comes out for the moonrise. I come out for the moonrise. And uh, it was a full moon last night. Everyone had their photos and yay for you. Awesome with your... By the way, I can tell you that was the moon. It's just a street lamp. Anyway, <laughs> it is actually back there somewhere. And it's, oh, it's right uh, right there. It, it's, yeah. it's sort of a light orange and a yellow. It's beautiful. But I was coming down to look for it, and these two men walked by. They're like, did you see the moon? Did you see the moon? Yeah, that's why I'm here, ladies. Back off. Uh, by the way, I found some lawn lighting. Look how great this lighting is here. What? Everyone's waiting for the moon. We have look. We have like three months where it's decent weather. We're like, where's the moon? Okay, <laughs> I maybe I'm losing my mind. Everyone, I don't know if you know this about me, but I, I I usually have a stiff upper lip. Like I'm part Irish, and I think that's where I'm like, everything's fine. Everything's great. I mean, you know, I'm fine. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. So we are uh, six weeks into Declan's hospital stay, and um, I have like these. They don't knock. The nurses don't knock. And um, so I bought some bells for the back of the door. And the only ones I could find were called witch bells. It has no reflection on the nurses. I'm not calling them witches, but they're called witches bells. Um, only they don't work. <laughs> That's how stealthy these nurses are. Like, they don't make the bells go. So I maybe one night strung some dental floss from Declan's bed to a door. Because I can't hear them when they come in. They sing up behind me. And you know, like, these nurses are there to take care of my son. I'm like, ah, what are you doing here? Maybe I yelled. Maybe I yell the curse word into one of their faces. And also, it's very loud. Really? I'm doing a show here! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please do that again? That's the funniest thing so far. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's like the whole two years. I can't believe it took me two years to do a Dustin Hoffman impression. Anyway. <laughs> Walking. <laughs> so I can give you a midnight cowboy impression. Anyway, what was I saying? The nurses. Okay, so the nurses, they, they're very stealthy. So I, I hung some bells with dental floss in between the bed and the doorknob. Like just I'll have to put, send you guys a picture. And she goes, uh, oh, that's very Blair Witch. Take that down right now. Um, <laughs> I have about my living space is about six by twelve feet, and I need I need like I need that to be mine. Like they keep coming in, and like and every oh, God bless these nurses, they are tremendous. They're taking care of kids who are having brain surgery or chemo, or have been in a car accident, or are disabled, or have been shot at a parade. Mm -hmm. That's happening. Mm -hmm. I met I met the youngest gunshot victim I've ever seen in my life, uh, and he is being cared for on our floor. Uh, mm -hmm. This young boy named Cooper, um, but these and so like I said, these nurses are extraordinary. I just need a little bit of. I just, I just need a little bit of. It's been six weeks. Every hour, three times an hour. Hey, mom, do you need anything? Hey, Declan, coming in for vitals. Hey, I've got meds. Hey, oh my God, every one of them has that sing-songy voice. I just need like, I just need one nurse to be like, you need anything? What's <laughs> going on in here? I need like some, <laughs> some South Side Chicago nurse coming in, like. Everything all right? What do you What do you need? Where are you at? What's it going on? I just need one, not like, not like, hey, you, I got it. We're all going through trauma, but that uh, for me, uh, I can't, I can't. So, <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I came outside for some peace, and people are honking their cars and asking me if I know where the moon is. It's in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for nothing, but five years ago, I was in a car with a friend of mine, and I told him he's a Republican. And I told him we were in a civil war. At the time, I said an ideological civil war. And he was like, oh, you're being ridiculous. And this has been the problem the entire time, is that we've all been like, you know, maybe we're overreacting. Like the whole time, we have let them say, you know, if we, if we call a gun or a weapon an AK-47, they're like, it's an AR-15, an AK-47. You don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, since we didn't use the right words, we don't get to have a conversation about kids being slaughtered in their classroom. And by the way, they're asking for more police officers to be hired in Uvalde because apparently almost 400 wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm, what I'm saying is I'm fine. I can't even so I, I am really a little bit nervous watching all the conservatives responding to the, the what they're calling the raid, which was a warrant that was legally secured and legally executed. And now 
They're all just waiting for their orders. They are, they're wait, they're all going to say that he gets to have those papers. And, you know, because he's our actual president, so he had to keep the safe. What I'm saying is we're screwed. And I'm saying screwed because in the two years that we've been on this show, I've never said the other word. But that's the word I want to use. Like Beto last night in Texas. Yeah, MFers, we're coming for you. We're done. Hi, I'm done melting. I'm fine. Hi, guys, guys. Hi, guys. And I've got a new, I got a new thing I want to do after you melt every time. I want to put together my two favorite things into one thing. So tonight, the two favorite things are, hey, Declan, I'm doing a show here. <laughs> it wasn't Declan, it was a guy honking his car. I know that. I'm putting things yeah. together. The nurses. <laughs> Never mind. Nurses, that it was, all comes together. That was fantastic. Thank you, Patty, and thank you for not falling apart. How's everything else going? How's the show going? How's that stuff going? I can't hear you, Brad. Ask him how the show's going. Oh, he says, How are the shows going? And he also The said, radio shows are fine, the stage shows are okay. I have Steve Goody coming into town That's next week. That's what I've heard. At Acres. I'm very excited. Uh, hey, Steve. Ooh. Production note: Hopefully, we're doing tatas. She doesn't have a permit, uh, so we're, we might have we might have hit a speed bump. You're getting paid anyway. We'll figure it out. And then we have a big yard party. <laughs> I got to I got to okay. the porta potty. That's how big we are. We need porta potty, Steve. <laughs> yes, it's in my rider. Did you rider? Rider. that doubles as a hotel room? M &Ms. <laughs> Thank you. That's excellent. Let's hear it for Patty Vasquez, everybody. Yay. All right, man, what, move. what an insane show this is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the, the thing, and then you'll do the begging for I'm money thing. Okay, here comes this thing. How about another dumb song from Steve for no reason? Oh, you you yeah. Hi. Oh, hey, Valerie and Bob. How's it going? Hey, Bob, how do you feel? Bob had surgery, everybody. Hi, Bob. Oh, how do you feel, Bob? Hello. Fair enough. We hope you're well. Um, I'm doing all right. Good. Here's a dumb song that I co-wrote with Carla Albrick and it won a stupid award about the worst thing that can happen to a human in the 21st century. I was texting with six friends at once when nature called and would not be forestalled so i brought the phone with me onto the front throne thinking i can't smell a text so they'll never know but then i dropped my phone in the toilet my phone's in the toilet my droid took a dive what am i gonna do my whole life's in that phone now my life's in the toilet and if you think your life stinks oh boo hoo 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 between my knees, my cell fell two feet to hell. All my contacts and pictures and calendars I can't lose. I've just got to retrieve it, but I'd rather leave it. Forget rubber gloves. I need a damn hazmat suit. I dropped my phone in the toilet. My phone's in the toilet. My droid took a dive. Now it's down in the loo. It won't help to boil it. My phone's in the toilet. Public service announcement. Don't text and poo. That was amazing, everybody. Hey, it's here for Steve Goody. By the way, this is the part of the show where I tell you to go to virtualcomedyshow.com and click donate to the comedians so that we can all have more money in our lives. I know Jackie uh, would like to have some money, and I know that uh, uh, everybody in the show would like to have some money. And if I wasn't so tired, I'd think of something funny and pithy to say right now. Well, we need to get a thesaurus so we can look up a synonym of salacious. That's right. Salacious, bodacious, and... Ah, sexy. Tenacious and congratulations. <laughs> anyway, go to virtualcomedyshow.com and click donate to the comedians, and maybe I can have a sleeping pill. Because he's got sleep apnea, and it's like Darth Vader's next door. Hi. Fantastic. So there you go. Okay, now what? Uh, <laughs> oh. Worst joke. Worst joke. Worst joke. Worst joke. Boo! That was the worst joke ever! <laughs> this truly is the worst joke of the week. A mega, mega moron tried to attack the FBI office in Cincinnati and was killed after he realized that they carry guns. <laughs> a spokesman... 
A spokesman for the NRA disavowed the shooter and said, that guy's an idiot. We'd already given him a map of local schools. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Have a very merry Thursday. It's a special time of week. When Thursday bells are peeling and life no longer seems so bleak, let's open up our presents and carve our Thursday goose. And wait for Father Thursday to arrive upon his moose. You know, we tried to incorporate all the wonderful family traditions that people associate with Thursday. Thursday comes but once a week, but do not shed a tear. Cause there are more than 50 Thursdays packed in every year. And every single one of them is full of mirth and glee. So stuff your face and break some wind and join the reverie. Have a very merry Thursday, put on your orange fez. And decorate the Thursday tree with milk, bone, spam, and pez. Once you've curled your mustache and donned your Thursday clothes, I'll catch you neath the mistletoe and punch you in the nose. Merry Thursday, Merry Thursday. Yeah. Oh, this shit. Down there. Stop gotcha. here. By the way, we have an announcement before we leave Facebook. Next mm -hmm. week, the show's on Tuesday. The next 16th. The Tuesday the 16th is a virtual comedy show. Not Thursday. Tuesday the 16th. Check your local listings. Now the show's on. <laughs>